Mobsters call him the doctor. But in his case, it's not a nickname built from a sick joke. He really is a doctor. He was head surgeon, in fact, at a large hospital in Palermo, the capital of Sicily, until he was unmasked as a mafia boss. And now he faces new allegations in the international dope trade. His surprising past makes a great headline, but the story here is more than just how bonkers it is that a hospital surgeon was moonlighting as a mafia boss. Or, or was it he was a mafia boss moonlighting as a doctor? I'm not sure which. And that's the point. The mob reporter here with the story of Giuseppe Gutadaro, a man who represents the most awkward and worrying aspects of the mafia in Italy. He's where politicians, police, high society, and mobsters meet. He's the poster child for the complexity of fighting the mafia in the birthplace of the mafia, a land where it's hard to know whose side anyone is really on. Let me tell you about it. Now 73 years old, Gutudaro was arrested, along with the youngest of his sons, Mario Carlo, on February 13, 2022. Along with his arrest comes news that once again the doctor was caught on police wiretaps having indiscreet conversations. Previously, it was bugs in his house when meeting with mobsters and Palermo's elite. This time, it was a breach of his iPhone that allegedly caught him giving mafia lessons to his sons and viciously gossiping about his mafia friends and rivals. He was heard saying today's mobsters need to evolve in the head while remaining anchored in the old values of Cosa Nostra, which is the proper name for the Mafia of Sicily. He complained mobsters around him have no personality. They can only do chores. He derided another mob boss who became a government informant soon after his arrest. Not even a day in prison has been done and he has already repented, he complained and he called mob bosses in his hometown the Italian equivalent of two-bit bandits. Prosecutors say while the doctor divided his time between Rome, Italy's picturesque capital, and Morocco, in North Africa where he had a fish processing company, his son acted as his eyes and ears in Palermo, and also as his mouth. Gutudaro's name stands out like ubiquitous actor Kevin Bacon's. In almost any direction or sphere of Sicilian life, start with anyone and you can quickly find a connection to the doctor. Well, surely not everyone, but there are plenty of doozies, including Italy's most wanted man, Matteo Messina Denaro, considered the top-ranked mafia boss, the boss of bosses, as they say, who has been a fugitive since 1993. Gutadaro's brother, Filippo, is De Nero's brother-in-law. That's like living in England when you're a close relative of the Queen. The connection brings tremendous influence. But the downside of his link to one of the world's most wanted men has the doctor appearing back in court. The unending police search for De Nero meant investigators regularly checked on Gutadaro to see if he was in touch with the boss. If that search bore fruit, we don't yet know, but police did find enough to proceed with Mafia Association charges against Gutadaro and his son. They are accused of being members of the Palermo Rocella Mafia family, with influence in Brancaccio Ciculi and neighboring Bacaria, where he was born. He is also alleged to have been plotting large-scale drug deals, and not the usual kind of drugs from a doctor. Investigators are probing cocaine from South America to the Netherlands, in cahoots with the Calabrian Mafia, and hashish through an Albanian gangster. Corrupt customs agents apparently were taking 25% as a payoff, and a flight attendant was ready to take 300,000 euros to Brazil as payment after loads started arriving at the port of Rotterdam. He also, by the way, allegedly wanted the Albanian gangster to get him a fake degree in dentistry for his son. Medicine runs in the family, after all. Back in the 1990s, Gutudaro was part of an important demographic shift in Cosa Nostra, a generation of members and bosses with formal education, degrees, and urban manners. It was a push away from peasant bosses with little schooling. Bernardo Provenzano, a former boss of bosses who was arrested in 2006 by contrast, apparently dropped out of school in the second grade. Education and status for mobsters like Gutadaro changed the complexion of Italy's fight against the Mafia. 
mobsters like him is where the upper world and the underworld met. Being a respected doctor and mafia boss plugged him directly into political and high society life. Away from the mafia's strategy of war against the state, he worked to rebuild the mafia's silent power. Much of that reconstruction took place in Gutadaro's grand home. Businessmen, lawyers, politicians, city officials, and other doctors all could arrive at his home with their heads held high, regardless of who they were secretly meeting or what instructions they received once inside. However, the doctor's biggest secret had not gone entirely unnoticed, and secret police wiretaps and room bugs were placed in his home in 2001. The cops weren't the only ones with well-placed informants, though, and the doctor was tipped off about the probes by mob moles in the government's anti-mafia directorate. The recording devices in his house picked up members of his family searching for bugs. When one was found, others recorded its discovery. Thank goodness they told us, his wife has heard saying, according to old court records. But by the time the wires were detected, it was too late for some, including Gutadaro's political patron, Salvatore Cufaro. Cufaro was a former doctor who became president of Sicily. Gutadaro had recounted how the mafia had bankrolled Cufaro's election campaign that year, court heard. In 2003, when it was revealed that Cufaro was under investigation for working with the Mafia, he remained defiant. Even after being charged, he ran for re-election. His challenger then could not have presented voters with a more dramatic contrast. Rita Borsellino, sister of Paolo Borsellino, the crusading anti-Mafia judge who was killed by the Mafia in 1992. Cufaro won. After Cufaro's conviction for aiding and abetting the Mafia, he served time in prison and was banned for life from holding public office. While Cufaro's downfall stemmed from the wiretaps in the doctor's house, ironically, it was revealed the reason the doctor knew his house was under surveillance was because of a tip from Cufaro. Such was life in Sicily. While his 34-year-old son remained in prison, he was released under house arrest while the process continues. I suspect he'll be particularly careful about what he says there. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.